gotta make a cover for it. Holy moly, that's shiny. <laughs> I think the fenders are different. Um, Oh, then this is the manual brake and the regen brake. Right, you got your hydraulic brake on the floor. Yep. Uh, that works on all three wheels, just like your car. And then you've got uh, your regen brake up here. Okay. So we'll just start over here. Uh, just go ahead and turn turn it off for a moment. Now I'll turn it back on. In order to actually start the vehicle, it has instructions here, but we'll just go through it. Push down fairly hard on the brake till that turns green. Okay. And then pull back on this button right there. You'd be pretty intentional about this. And now the vehicle started. Cool. Uh, if you were to hold this button down while you're going down the road, you can actually turn the vehicle off. Oh, um, interesting. But all you need to do is put the brake back on and okay. it'll, it'll start again. All so right. don't hold this button down for any length of period. There's no, no reason to use this button at all, okay. except when you start the vehicle. That feels like a v, V1 UI, but I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> So over here, we've got that button, of course. You've got your headlights. You've got brights and normal and just your daytime lights. Sweet. Um, you'll notice that the screen changes intensity. Oh, uh, with, with the lights, yeah. So if you leave it in this position during the daytime, you're fine. It's probably, yeah. Yep. Down here is the horn. Okay. Uh, you got we got to try the horn, actually. Okay. There you go. It's All right. loud. It's a standard road runner. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, your four-way flashers. Okay. Uh, and turn signals. Here, of course, you're just like a motorcycle. Just like a motorcycle, push them in to turn them off. Yep. They don't turn themselves off. Okay. So you'll find yourself blinking a lot <laughs> until you get used to it. I still do. Yeah. <laughs> Over here on the right, you've got your uh, throttle. Throttle control there works like a motorcycle. Yep. This is a kill switch. Okay. So it needs to be in that position. If you put it in this position, the vehicle's still on. Mm -hmm. but the throttle won't work. Oh, okay. And you'll see this. It just it disables the motors. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, a lot of times, if you run into a problem, there'll be a message on the screen that'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. It'll be like, hey, your seatbelts aren't on. Yeah. Uh, your kill switch is on, that sort yeah. of thing. So, uh, you look at the screen, and it'll often tell you what the problem is. Uh, so here we have forward, neutral, and reverse. All right. Yep, yep, okay. that's a shifter. Yep. And those are the, those things, is, are these uh, speakers hooked up to anything? Bluetooth speakers, so you okay. just hook into them with your phone. What's this guy? Uh, well, that's going to be some kind of traction control. Okay. But like I said, these five buttons don't do anything right. at the moment. I asked them if they'll upgrade to, um, via software, to the um, differential, what's that called? <coughs> uh, torque vectoring. vectoring. Torque vectoring, yeah. Yes. Um, they I, said, yeah, that's software upgrade. We're pretty sh I'm pretty sure that is going to be a software upgrade. Uh, so, if you undo these two yep. pieces right here, this comes up and this shows you what's underneath the hood. Oh, cool. This is your power steering fluid. Okay. Um, which you may have to change occasionally. Okay. This is some coolant, which is just RV coolant, and it runs, uh, it's for the charging system. So there's a okay. cooling loop in there to keep All it right. cool. When this thing is on charge, you may occasionally hear a fan come on. It's a pretty loud fan. It sounds like there's a little hair dryer going on under there. So it's a liquid cooled <coughs> um, charger? Yes. But there's a fan that comes on and it's fairly loud and it's also normal. Okay. Um, and it will occasionally, <coughs> it'll occasionally come on when you're driving as well. If you use a lot of regen, then you're charging yeah. and the fan will kick on. Oh yeah. And yeah, when it's up. when it's done, it'll shut itself off, and it may keep running when you when you come to a stop. It's normal. Yeah. Um, right here, you'll see this red wire. Yep. This is a uh, an emergency cut loop. If you cut that, oh, for uh, firefighters. Yes, yeah. it completely disconnects the main battery pack from everything else. Okay. Um, Interesting. So if there if you're in an accident, yeah, uh, yeah. it's a great idea to cut that. Okay. Um, just so that. You don't have any electricity wandering around up here. Yeah. Notice there's a plastic piece right here. Mm -hmm. This is to keep you away from that stuff. Oh, right. That stuff yeah. will kill you. Just a little, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, Shield. Don't touch that stuff. Okay. <laughs> so this is a little bit tricky to get back on. All right. Um, you've got this little lip right here, and it needs to see fit in there just right. And these 
clips move around. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. And so, so with this kind of stuff. Yeah. sometimes they line up great, and sometimes they'll just wiggle it. Fight ya. Yeah. yeah. Just wiggle it. There we go. So, so this is just a rain diverter. Yes. And is this a plexiglass? It's polycarbonate. Polycarbonate. Yep. Yeah. So one thing about that, you'll see a sticker over here, and it'll basically take you to our website for care and cleaning. Right. But the important thing about this is don't use anything with ammonia in it. Okay. There's a coating on this, to an anti-scratch coating, and it's kind of allergic to ammonia. So, okay. Uh, you've also got a... Uh, a cup holder? A cup holder. Everybody needs a cup Everybody holder. Everybody needs a cup holder. And this is also a foam mount. And a foam mount. Um, and what other gifts do I have? I'm not sure. Some sort of... Uh, Oh yeah. UV swag. Look under your seat. You should put it under the seat. Oh. Look <laughs> under your seat. Well, <laughs> these are to pass out. You should keep them in your vehicle. Okay. People yeah. are going to ask you lots of questions. Yeah, I'll just hand them it's this. It's easy to hand them something. <laughs> there you go. If you're an introvert, this is maybe not the right vehicle. If you take that number to a locksmith, they can make a new barrel key for you. Oh, okay. So I better keep that. Yeah. And then um, these guys are for the back door. Yes. The, Storage. Now you'll also be able to can opener. start cool. this vehicle with a code. Here we go, around the corner. <laughs> Pop that. Pop it goes it right. Right. Now, come over to the screen and I'll show you. So it's negotiating and it'll take a couple of seconds. You'll see a little green bar move and then it'll figure out, they'll negotiate how much power they can take. Okay. Uh, and now it's now it's charging. Okay. So it's only going to charge up to ninety percent. Okay. Now Why is that? Just to protect the battery. Okay. This little piece of metal has an extra hole in it. Is it, what is that for? To lighten the vehicle. I for have no future idea. use. <laughs> for future use. Reserve. No idea. It's an RFU. That's what it is. <laughs> Reserve for future use. So what you could do is put a hole in here, swap out these bolts, put another grommet in there, and do a roof rack. You could do that. I could do it. Yes. I, I would. We've been asked many times, are we going to put a roof rack on there? And we are like, absolutely not. This is three bolts. Yep. So I, I, I pop those bolts off, take a tire iron, you pop don't even these off. take the fenders off. Oh, I don't? It'll go in there It'll with, pop with off the fender off. Fender off. Yeah. And where do I jack it up? You can, you could certainly I can put it under up here. The, uh, I could jack up the suspension. Yeah. That's okay? Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, it's holding the car anyway. Yeah, if you have I mean, questions, though, call I guess. our service department and they can give you the definitive answers on these. Yeah, things. this crossbar on the suspension looks like a, the jack point for me. Well, it's definitely fun to drive, um, and it definitely turns a lot of heads. And that's those are the first two things you notice is that you know, this is really different. Um, it's kind of exciting to drive something that different and it definitely takes some getting used to. Um, after putting a few hundred miles on it, I really feel much more comfortable uh, and I know all the little quirks. And I like it better now after a few hundred miles because there's nothing unexpected. It's really, uh, I'm much smoother with it. Turning takes a little getting used to. Um, you know, when we were filming the initial video of the delivery, I was pretty much cranking on those handles to turn it. I didn't, didn't have a smooth turn and I didn't know what the quirks were. It's subconscious now. You don't have to think about it. Once you know it, things just happen. So it's, once you get to that point, um, like, you know, imagine when you're first driving a car, you know, it's takes a little while to get super comfortable, but you don't think about driving a car when you're driving a car today. You know, after years of practice, you get in the car, it goes, somehow you ended up at your destination, you get out. And that's the way it is with an FUV. It's just a little bit of a learning curve, and then after a while, it's automatic.